imagine that you are managing a big project that requires your complete commitment. Everything begins smoothly, deadlines are set and every member starts working on their tasks. And now imagine what happens if nobody completes their task on time. You are having to make extra expenditure that crosses the budget and the market price of materials you need has suddenly risen. Relax. You will not have to deal with this scary situation if you prepare for the potential risks in your project beforehand. And for this, you need a risk management plan. What the risk management plan does for you is it reduces the impact of risks on your project. You will be able to protect from the weakening of your cash flow and the damage that could be done to your brand. Additionally, it creates a culture of sensible risk awareness and management so that unnecessary emergencies are not created. Now you may ask me, Ishmeet, how does the plan do this? Well, the risk management plan tries to calculate the possibility of an event, its likely impact on your project and its proximity. When you know what the trouble might be, you can plan strategies to mitigate them. When you are equipped beforehand to deal with a possible risk, your project is in safe hands. Let me now give you some steps that you can follow to suit your own project to develop a risk management plan. First, you need to understand how risk management works. Risk is the effect, positive or negative, of an event or series of events that take place in one or several locations. It is computed from the probability of the event becoming an issue and the impact it would have. The various factors that you should attempt to identify is the event, the probability, the impact, mitigation, reduction and the exposure which is simply the risks that you cannot avoid. The next step for you is to define the risks of your project. What is the kind of work that you are doing? And so, what are the variables that will affect your work? In noting down those variables, you will identify the risks particular to your project. Once you've done that, get input from others. Brainstorm risks. Get several people together that are familiar with the project and ask for input on what could happen, how to help prevent it, and what to do if it does happen. Take a lot of notes. Try to keep an open mind about ideas. Out of the box thinking is good, but stay focused and on target. For your next step, identify the consequences of each risk. From the brainstorming session, you have a list of potential risks, right? Now, eliminate the totally irrelevant ones and then note the consequences of the ones that you have left. Be as specific as possible. Probable delay is not as desirable as there will be a project delay by about 13 days. Now, when you have a list, assign probability. For each risk element on your list, determine if the likelihood of it actually materializing is high, medium or low. If you absolutely have to use numbers, then figure the probability on a scale from 0 to 1. Take a similar process to assign the impact of each risk and then list all the elements you have identified from the highest risk to the lowest risk. And finally, now you want to develop mitigation strategies for your project to reduce the probability of a risk to materialize. In general, we usually do this for high and medium risk elements, but you might want to do these for low risk elements as well. However, make sure to address the other ones first. For example, if one of your risks says that there could be a delay in the delivery of some critical parts that you need, you might want to get them delivered early on in the project. But we are not done yet. We will now create contingency plans. These are the plans that we need to reduce the impact in case any risk does materialize. Again, we will only do these for high and medium risk elements. For example, if the critical parts that you need do not deliver on time, you will have to use old and existing parts with you while you wait for the new ones to arrive. 
and lastly to be as prepared as you can analyze the effectiveness of the strategies you created recheck your equipment soldier how much have you reduced the probability and impact evaluate the contingency and mitigation strategies that you created and reassign the rankings accordingly and voila you have your risk management plan for your project ready but be mindful monitor your risks now that you know what your risks are you need to determine how you'll know if they materialize so you'll know when and if you should put your contingencies in place as your project progresses you will be able to determine if a risk element has become an issue if you don't know these cues it is very possible a risk could silently materialize and affect the project even if you have good contingencies in place so be alert and keep your project off risks i hope that this video helped you understand what you were looking for if you liked it please subscribe to our channel and check out for more such videos Check out the link in the description for a wonderful book on project management called Love, Empathy and Project Management. Thank you.